Hi. Well, I've been inspired to begin a new project with you. We are going to begin 30 days, 30 days of talking about the correlation between grace and gratitude. Now, what inspired me has been the most incredible story that I could share with you, and I'll share it with you sort of bit by bit. But what happened with me today is nothing short of a miracle. What you might even say is the perfect example of grace itself. And so I'd like to talk about, first of all, what grace is. And I know it's late, so I'm gonna keep this short. But in the days to come, we are going to dive deeper and deeper into this concept of grace and gratitude and how they are related. This, of course, is a time where as we start to expand in our new awareness that has been developing for so long, you might even say since the very first breath that we have taken here, we have been working to come to this moment, this moment in the timeline of humanity where we have the opportunity to be the greatest expression of ourselves as both humans and the soul's expansion. The connection of that vibrational frequency is one that I look upon as being the epitome of grace. Grace very often is looked as being a theological term, a term that has been defined as being that which is divine. And from my perspective, grace is that intersection between the divine and the human, where we are inspired inspired through divine works, inspired through divine messages. And we take those messages and put them into action. In other words, we are receiving information and we take action that is in alignment with it. So from my perspective, this of course would be the highest level of our ability to be that full integration of all that we are here on the earth, both as humans and as divine beings. When we align with this grace, we have all the strength, we have all of the ingenuity, the ability to tap into the entire collective consciousness. We can endure anything because we have the strength of all that is. This of course manifests both individually and as a collective. And what I've experienced today is exactly that. It is evidence that the divine is working through us, providing these opportunities at all times for us to reach into the deepest depths of our being and yet the highest vibrational frequency that we have accessible to us, taking us closer and closer to the divine that we are. Now, a little bit about this experience. It started actually this morning and it was just what you might consider to be a passing message. Just a little something that perked my interest as I was scrolling through my emails. But as I was, I had a sensation in my body 
that told me that I needed to act on it and I needed to reach out to someone. And I did. And to make a long story short, I had dinner with that person tonight. And what was revealed was nothing short of a miracle. For that person had been thinking about me as well and had been thinking for weeks to reach out to me. And in a very serendipitous way, the message came to me to reach out to them. It of course is at a moment, a very pivotal moment where the two of us are being brought together. There in fact is really nothing serendipitous about it. It is completely synchronistic in a universal way. It's how the cosmic energies work to make certain that we come together in order to create that strength that is needed for a particular time on our timeline. Now, I'll share with you more details as time goes on, but I want to talk about another aspect of grace that I think is really important. And that is that grace is not anything that needs to be earned. In other words, there's no justification for it. It is our birthright. It is that, that moment of connection with us as humans, with the divine that we are. And in that moment of intersection, we have the ability to tune in to all of the incredible beauty, the power, the love that source energy is here to provide. In that moment of recognition, our hearts overflow with gratitude. And this is how grace and gratitude are connected. And so for these 30 days of November, we're going to be talking more and more and more about this. And I would like to invite you to participate. If you have a story of grace that has brought you to a moment of sheer gratitude, where you have recognized your connection to the divine within you and all around you, I would love to hear it. Please just leave me a comment below. Just say, yes, Marcy, or I'm in, or have I ever got a story for you? I would love for you to be part of this conversation. We are here in all of this together. And these stories are not anything other than the miraculous workings of the universe. I know I have so many of them and I know that you must too. So please just message me below and I'll make certain that we have an opportunity to share your story, to share all the stories of grace and gratitude and how the GGs of our existence provide evidence for us that we indeed are the divine incarnate and we are here to expand in love so that more love can extend through us. And that's what these stories provide for us. And so again, please, any story of grace and the gratitude that it brought forward, just let me know that you'd like to share it and I'll make certain that that happens. So until tomorrow, I leave you with this thought. 
you are loved and cherished beyond all measure in ways that you just can't even imagine, but also in ways that are proven to you every moment of every day. And some of those moments, oh my God, they just hit our heart and our heart opens and starts to overflow with love that is unleashed. And so tomorrow, I'll see you right here again for another conversation of grace and gratitude. And of course, how it shows up in your life too. Have a good night now. Bye-bye.